All right, this is part two. That's how much money I'm, I'm going to pay those three. And those three uh, those three are the bigger A's, as well as John Krasinski is a bigger A-lister too, but he's, he's a lower ranked one. He's worth like 80 million bucks, whatever it is. So him, I'll pay him like, John Krasinski, I'll pay him. You got to watch for your budget. Pay him like 16.5 million at the low end, because you got to watch for your budget. Um, I might put maybe 680 million, a bit more. 685 million to have room to pay John Cezanzi's salary, obviously. I might maybe put maybe 685 million to, 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 and put like an extra 50 million dollars on the budget to have more room to pay John Cezanzi because those guys are going to cost me a lot of money. Because their salaries all paid through the budget, right? Their bonuses all through the budget, man. Obviously. 16.5 million base for John Cezanzi. That's a good paycheck for him. And then what? Uh, John Krasinski will make a combined like $21 million or something like that. $23 million he'll make in his, uh, his combined earnings. And you give him like $27 million of the profits because he's not as big as the other guys. If he's greedy and he wants like 40 I'm like, no, you're not worth 40 You're worth like your 20 33 I can give you 33 but 33 is a bit too much. Give him like $27 million as a role. That's, good, that's a good paycheck for him. He signed like I don't know, like a forty-eight million dollar deal. It's a massive contract. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. It's a deal, I mean, yeah, I gave you a good deal. And then Brie Larson and Paul Bettany are smaller A-listers, so those actors you pay them way, 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 way less. A lot of a massive contract, but not the kind of money the other guys are making. You pay Brie like eleven point five million dollars for her base salary. That's a good paycheck for her. And then you and and and, and then what? And you give her, uh, like eleven million dollars of the royalties. That's a good pay. That's a, she signed what, like a twenty two. Twenty two point five million dollar deal. It's a massive contract to make that money in Hollywood, but compared to how much Keanu Reeves is making, it's pocket change. Obviously, it's chump change. Hence why I'm gonna tell them, look, man, keep your conscience to your damn selves. Don't go bragging to what? To, to, to the other ranks of actors that you, that you sign your, your contract. They can get a bit ticked off. They won't really care, but they can get a bit ticked off and envious. Knowing that they're, they're making way more than you, isn't there? Yeah, you give... And Paul Benioff sign him to the same deal. Pay him 11.5 and give him $11 million of the royalties. And Javier Bardem, I'll just pay him his flat nine because he's not as he won't have a bigger role to play. So Javier Bardem, I'll just pay him his flat like nine, maybe eight million dollars, and then he doesn't get squat the royalties. He's a small ace actor, but like he's not that big of he, he he's a pretty major character, and so I won't give him a piece of the royalties. There's exceptions, obviously. Just pay him his nine or eight million dollars for the movie. That's a good deal. He doesn't make that all. He probably makes like five million for his movies. Good deal for him. He's worth thirty million bucks, but he's 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 a hitman. That's why I'm not gonna pay him as much. Pay him a bit less. Pay him like eight point five nine million dollars for the movie for the role. You gotta watch out for your budget, man. There are those act eight actors are costly. And that's why the biggest actors you pay them way, way less. You pay them like two million, two point five. Because you gotta have balance on your budget, man. And the other biggest actors you pay them their two point two, two point five, three million dollars. The biggest actors do not affect your budget at all. They're cheap. They're glad you move for you for two point five, three million dollars. Because the AS actors are expensive. It costs you money, isn't there? So that's how much money I'm willing to pay those actors. And I'll fly them in. I'll fly them in what? Towards the end of the first year, like, I don't know, August. And I'm going to hire my own writing team to write that script. Yeah, I mean, how long? Yeah, I want this movie to be a good three and a half hours minimum. Three and a half hours to four hours long. Okay, yeah, you're you're gonna you're probably looking at a one sixty one eighty page script for the Grey Escape, a long fucking script. Because my movies will be typically longer than than, 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 than than all these other movies. They're unique. I'm gonna have it three hours long, two hours and fifty three hours long. The Grey Escape, I want it minimum three and a half hours long. The what? The the what? The in that movie, I want it at least a good three hours long. It is not that movie since Aaron. They're all movies are gonna be long, man. And Zane's will be like twelve hours, twelve and a half hours. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be long. 
longer than like as long as Lord of the Rings. The extended editions, yeah, long as that. Even even like slightly longer, yeah, it was long. It was like fucking long. It was like long, yeah, man. I'm excited for that Grace Gate part. It's like an amazing move for that. It was amazing. I guarantee my two shows about was I don't know, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, or Peter Rice, Zack Snyder, they might tell me I even like the only reason all of them are not worth your royalties. You know what I'm saying? You're being fucked too generous with them, man. Like you're, you're, you're giving the Academy's one hundred twenty million dollars of royalties, I mean, it's not worth that. Fifty nine million dollars is more than enough money, he doesn't make that in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? That's enough. You don't have to give a piece of royalties, I might know. If you give a piece of royalties that way they work harder for you and they're not pissed off. Considering you're gonna make way more I'm making way more than them. Give them a piece of rollies, but like at the moment they ask for like a crazy amount of money, then you know, I'm like, guys, I'm not stupid, you're not worth this. If Ben Affleck tries to get 100 million, I'm like, I'm not giving you 100 million dollars, you're not worth that. Keanu Reeves tries to get 180, 200 million dollars with the rollies, I'm not paying him that. You see, Sarah? If Scarlett Johansson, because Scarlett Johansson's a greedy pig, she might try and push for 80, 90 million dollars with the rollies. I'm like, no, Scarlett. 60 million dollars is enough, you don't make this in Hollywood. It's a deal, I mean, yeah, I can't because if you don't like my deal, guys, I can, I'll hire someone else or you can go back to Hollywood being left behind and being dirty slaves and making less money than I offer. And being that shitty 100 million dollar budget than I offer, you see what Same goes for Brie Larson. Brie Larson and them are not, are not as greedy as them, obviously. They'll accept my deal. And Paul Bennett, if they don't like my offer, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood. It's a deal, Ivan. Mean, we don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, I gave you the fucking deal. And once they sign their contract, the limo driver will take us to the restaurant. I will not go to Boston Pizza for the Great Escape. I will go to another restaurant. And I'll, and I'll take the actors up to my dinner. And that's why I'm going to tell the actors' agents. Tell the actors to not eat too much. I have an individual will take you up to my dinner for the Great Escape. And we have a nice dinner at the restaurant, and after that, they party up in my 300 million dollar condo. No, no, for that movie, they party up in my yacht. If it's fall time, I'll have I'll have them party up in my yacht. Keanu Reeves and all them, if, if it's fall time. Have a party in my yacht. But I'll have parties in my condo, too, that way they see my condo. After the ad shoots, I'll have some parties in my, in my condo, too, obviously, with, with the stars. But I'm going to have the party in my yacht for the Great Escape actors. The first day I fly in all the major stars. So Keanu Reeves, Scarlett Johansson, Ben Affleck, John Krasinski, Brie Larson, that's five. You have Paul Benny, that's six. Javi Barton, that's seven. And you have the rest of the uh, you have the, uh, the the rest of the couples who I don't know who I'm gonna cast. You have another what? You have another like four or five people. And those all those actors are the major characters. Fly in a good 10, 11 of them. I'll have a good maybe 10, 11 major characters in a story. 13 major characters in a story. Exclude 11 major characters in a story, excluding me and BJ. And then the rest are minor characters. You fly those, your main stars first. The first day. You fly them in first, obviously. And I'll do a party in my yacht for the for, for, for with Keanu Reeves and all of them. They're all drunk. I guarantee but not being them we're gonna take be able to take this. Hey, I'm at a yacht party right now. I'm an I'm an I am i am i am i am up with eyes in the yacht. Yeah, I'm gonna do a party in my yacht, man. It's gonna be top notch. Hire a driver. Hey guys, we're gonna do a party in my yacht. In your yacht, I've been on my yeah, my yacht. And the limo driver takes us to the property, obviously, and we'll do a party in my yacht. Obviously. Put music on, and I'll have my team buy like 55 balls of liquor, and I'll have them buy cigars. We give Keanu Reeves and all them all, all a cigar. We smoke a cigar in the yacht, and they all get drunk with me and my wife. We blast music. We have a good time. And the, 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 the driver drives in the ocean. We have something amazing for that. Yeah, I'm like, cheers, guys. We're going to be movie stars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you guys ready to be badass? We're ready, Ivan. I'm saying, yeah. 
I told you, The Great Escape will not have the same buzz on Zane's Love. Zane's is my first movie. And Eric had them are devils. I'm sorry. Eric had them are demons and devils. Whereas, yeah, he's all of them are not demons and devils, but they're freaky people. They're evil people, obviously. And the movie, the movie will be rated R. I want it to be dark like John Wick. That way you get a better movie. There'll be sex in there, but I'm, I'm going to tone down the sex, obviously. I'm, I'm not a fan of that, like, hardcore Game of Thrones nudity. That's too much, man. That's crazy. But uh, you have sex scenes in it, but you tone down the sex scenes. But, like, the violence is rated R. They're swearing in it. That way you, you, get, you get a better movie. If, if The Great Escape were PG-13, it'd be an amazing movie, but it would not be as good. It'll be, it'll be, a, it'll be, it'll be a more of a family... It'd be something like Rush Hour, right? If, 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 if The Great Escape were PG-13. And the Handsome Story won't be as good. It'll still be a good movie, but it will not be as... Yeah, it's PG-13. It's a little cheesy. The camera reason them are not that scary. doesn't have blood violence. No swearing. It's not as good. It won't be as good. I know what I'm doing. Have it be rated R like John Wick. John Wick is rated R. Have it be rated R. So me and Vijay have a sex scene. Um, I don't know. Scott Johansson and Keanu Reeves might have a sex scene in the movie. If they, they just hook up. And Brie Larson and John Krasinski, all the couples hook up. John Krasinski hooks up with Brie Larson. The other four couples hook up, obviously. Since I are. And you, you, you have an amazing movie, obviously. That's why Jose Zach is going to be like, beg, I, mean, I want to be in that. I want to be in that secret agent movie, Ivan. I'm going to beg. I'm like, look, man, you're not good. You're not good for the, for the Grey Escape secret. You're not good for the Grey Escape secret movie. Secret agent movie. You're not good, Samsara. They're not good for the movie. They're gonna beg, man. Those great, those, those great, those dance actors. Because they want to be. They want to be in my movie so bad. Yeah, man. They want to be in my movie so bad. Those uh, those dance actors. Yeah, I want to be in that secret agent movie. Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, they're, they're not. You know what I'm saying? Guys, man, you were part of the Zane's movie. I was nice to save this movie. You're not good for the Grey Escape. You need to give Keanu Reeves and them an opportunity to be saved. It's not just about you. Yeah, but Ivan, Keanu Reeves and them don't need, don't need, don't need to be in your movie, Ivan. Like, it doesn't get any bigger than them. They already have such a career. They're fucking ace actors. It's not about that. That's not the point. The point is, they all want to be saved, like you. They need, give them an opportunity to be saved and experience that with me. It's not just about you guys. I, we don't give a shit about Keanu Reeves and all of them. They might tell me that. We don't give a fuck about Keanu Reeves. Fuck Keanu Reeves. Fuck Ben Affleck. Those guys are already big in Hollywood. Just resign us, Ivan. Fuck those actors in Hollywood, Ivan. Resign us. Who cares about what they think, Ivan? I'm saying, oh my guys, you, 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 I know you don't care, but you're not good for the Great Escape. Oh, Ivan, I want to be in that stupid Asian movie, man. My guys, you're not good for the Great Escape movie. I can't picture you guys in the Great Escape movie, you know what I'm saying? Except for Ivan. I, I, I just hope I can picture him in the movie. I just, oh my, tell me, Ivan, just fuck those actors all over. Just resign me, man. I want to be in that secret agent movie, Ivan. He, he wants to be one. I want to be one of those couples, Ivan. Resign me, Ivan. I'm like, no, I just, uh, well, you're not good for the, you're, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to resign you. You need to think about others in Hollywood. Ivan, I don't care about those actors in Hollywood. Just fucking resign me. Because in Hollywood, everyone's for themselves. No one cares about anyone in Hollywood. Is that right? Ivan, I can't stand Hollywood, man. Your company is so much better than Hollywood, man. I want to work for you. I don't want to work in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Hollywood's fucking cheap. They're going to serve me shittier food. They're going to fly me commercial. I'm going to be a part of that shittier budget, you know what I'm saying? They're going to serve me shittier food. Because you spoil me luxurious buffet. They're going to fly me commercial. They're not going to fucking do a, 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 a fucking party at a hotel for the whole cast. They're not going to do that, Ivan. They're fucking cheap, Ivan. I mean, I know they are. I know my company's better, but you're not good for the great thing. You have to be considerate. You need to think. You need to think about what? You need to think about other actors, not just about you. 
I guarantee when I do the party with Ben Affleck and all of them, they're going to take videos and pictures. Hey, I'm at a yard party right now. Hey, I'm saved. I'm going to be in Ivan's Great Escape movie, and you're all left behind. Uh -huh. That very feeling that they had when they saw the actors for Zayn's Bragging when they first got signed, they now have that amazing feeling of feeling saved. That's why they're also going to beg, too. Because they, they, remember, they remember what it was like to, 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 to be left behind when they saw all the trends and the buzz of Zaynus. They felt like shit, obviously, when they were in Hollywood. And now those same actors are experiencing that, 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 that what, that glory and fame with me and VJ, obviously. Hey, guys, I'm saved. I'm going to be in Ivan VJ's Great Escape movie, and you're all left behind. Ha, ha, yeah. They're all going to brag, obviously. You're going to see how happy Keanu Reeves, Brie Larson, Paul Bettany... Ben Affleck and Scott Johansson are because they're saved by God. Whereas the, the, all those actors in Hollywood are left behind. Those Zayn's actors are now left behind. And they're going to remember, yeah, I remember when Ivan first, yeah, I remember when Ivan first took me out to a nice dinner. Now I had that excitement and now the journey is over and he's doing his next, his, his next movie, obviously. And the actors are, are now successful in Hollywood. They got, they got a lot of offers in Hollywood. They're, they're doing their, their, they're doing their, their touring for their movie. You know what I'm saying? Now, while they're touring, the first Great Escape trailer drops. The filming is now completed. post production takes place. And the first greatest teaser trailer of the Great Escape... I'm going to have two trailers, a teaser and a sentry. The first teaser trailer of the Great, Great Escape uh, drops. You see me frustrated. I can't find jobs. And I'm like, oh, man. I wish I could be in that movie. Look at Iron VG in a modern time. It's so weird seeing Iron VG in the modern times. And Zayn's are speaking old English style. They're in a fancy world. Now Ivan and are in the modern times. Speaking modern English. It's so cool seeing. I wish I could be in that movie. Yeah, they're going to feel like shit, obviously. Even though they have fans. Only, like, I don't know, 15, 20 million fans are tuning in. 10 million fans are tuning into their movie. Whereas the whole world's tuning into that Great Escape story. Yeah. They're going to feel like shit, those actors. Yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go upstairs and get more coffee. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back in a sec.
Alrighty, I'm back. If you don't want to wait, skip the video. If you want to wait and you want to hear the silence in the room, and hear my beautiful voice saying that I'm back, then you're more than welcome to what to wait if you want to wait, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I'll shut this camera off here in a good like 10, 13 minutes here. I'm only gonna make like a one hour video, guys. I'm I'm tired. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm only going to make a one-hour video, and I'll upload it. You guys will enjoy it. I'll watch it, and I'm going to go to the store and get my beer and smokes. Yeah. Yeah, so once you sign those stars, those stars for The Great Escape, you what? You take all of them out to a nice dinner at Boston at at, 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 at the restaurant. Give Cam Reese and all of them and Ben Affleck and all of them a good experience. Even though they can easily afford to buy their own dinner, because they're working for you, you 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 do have to take them out to a nice dinner. Obviously, everyone gets one pitcher. Like two people share one pitcher. You have a nice meal with Cam Reese and all of them. They enjoy their food and you party it up while you're in your yacht. And they're going to, guaranteed some of them are going to take reels and pictures. Hey, I'm at a party right now. You guys are going to see that trending online, obviously. And now, because they're signed on for The Great Escape, the whole world is now tuning into their social media. Ben Affleck has social media. Scaltro has had social media. Keanu Reeves does not have social media. He's a private guy. He's like me. He likes to keep his stuff, his, his life private, Keanu Reeves. I heard. Keanu Reeves does not have social media. He's a private guy. He likes to, he's, 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 he likes to keep everything... Behind closed doors. He's a private guy like me. I, I, I prefer to be. Um, what? To keep everything behind closed doors too. Obviously. As, 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 as what? Even though I have a Twitter account. I, I, I barely post anything on Twitter. Because I told you. I, I, I'm not really into social media and all that stuff. That's what I'm saying. Huh? And social media is a very toxic place to be. That's why I'm not really a fan of social media, to be honest. Yeah. And then second year, sometime mid-second year, they'll be flown in to do the table. I'll do like six months of table reads for, um, for the Grey Escape and like two, two months, three months of training. Two months of training is enough. I'll do a good two months of training. For the Great Escape, hire the best stuntmen. They train all of us in fighting, obviously, and 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 and, and what? My team is doing hard work making all those calls, obviously. And I'm gonna do the ad shoots with Keanu Reeves and all in the second year in their commercials too. I'll do four commercials and four ad shoots for the Great Escape. I can do one ad shoot. Towards the end of the first year, or two ad shoots towards the end of the first year, and three ad shoots the second year, or something like that. And you do three commercials, and you pay counties only for the commercials for your company, obviously. Some Zaire? Pay calories all for the commercials. And they'll be doing ad shoots with me and my wife. Obviously, and they'll be, they're, they're going to be featured on the Sky Source News interviews, all that stuff. The interviews on my website, something cool like that. And they do they do like four ad shoots with you and VJ. They do four ad shoots with you and VJ, obviously. Four ad shoots with you and VJ. And then third year is, uh, and I'll party it up with them for the ad, after the ad shoots and commercials. The second year, I'll do parties with them, obviously. In my condo, in the lounge, in my yacht. I'll do the table in my yacht. Mid-second year. You know what I'm saying? You give them one small parties and all that nice stuff, yeah. You're going to see them feature with me in Beach, obviously. In the beginning of the third year is production. The Grey Escape will take three and a half months to four months to film. It won't take that long. 
But that movie will not be as, as much work compared to Zanus. And that's why after Zanus, I'm never filming a movie like that ever again. We're just looking at like 10, 11 months of shooting. It's going to be crazy. Great Escape, only three and a half months of shooting and it's done. Three and a half months will go by fast. Before you know it, three months go by and uh, the Academy's all, and it's done. I even, I'm like, yeah, guys, it's done. Holy shit, that went by fast. Yeah, it went by fast because you you had a blast and you were used to being saved. You don't want to be left behind, but the two and a half years went by fast. Post-production will only take maybe four months for the Great Escape. It won't take, so it's not as big of a file to edit. It's only like a three and a half, three and a half hour movie. Take maybe five months to edit that file. Where Zayas will take something crazy like eight, nine, even ten months to edit. That's going crazy. Yeah, how long will it take you to edit this great scene? Well, we don't know why. We can get it done in four and a half months. Okay. After the four and a half months and the actor's experience of fame, I will what? I will, I will let the, the hotel know for the hotel party in Italy. And the red carpet event that's going to take place in Italy. So I'm sorry. Obviously. And once the hotel party ends, obviously, the docking, the docking film all this, obviously, you're going to see the, you're going to see the doc trailer for the Great Escape, no Zen. The only reason we're going to beg, oh, I've been, I've been, please, man, can I be in that romance story? I'm like, no, guys, you're not going to be romance story. I don't want to go back to Hollywood, man. I mean, I know you don't, but they're not good for their unique, man. It's not fair to KJ Apple and Zendaya. It's not fair to them. But Zendaya, I have her chosen. I think she's she's perfect for what? For BJ's best friend, obviously. BJ's crazy best friend, Megan. And KJ Apa is my crazy best friend. Uh, the crazy best friend of Josh. It was an amazing movie for their unique. That movie will have crazy buzz, man. And that movie will only take like two months to film. It won't take long at all. Romance stories take like two, two months, a month and a half to film. They're not long. And very unique is a slightly shorter project than, than Yeah Yeah give me a sec Give me uh two minutes Give me two minutes Someone's calling me Yeah Yeah. And the greatest scene will have crazy worldwide buzz. Not it will not have as crazy buzz as Zanus, but it will still have crazy worldwide international buzz. That's something crazy. Because you finally see me and BJ in the modern times where Bass Asians and we're taking acts. And it's cooler seeing me and uh, me and BJ in that movie because we're we're speaking modern English, we're wearing suits, we're bass Asians, we're taking ass, obviously. But Zanus will still have the crazier buzz because it's my first movie. We just read to we. And air attack them are devils. That's the best story ever told. Even though Zayas is a better movie, it will have crazier buzz because it air attack them are demons and devils. And that's a better story than the Great Escape. But the Great Escape um, is, will be, is, 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 is the coolest thing I read in that movie. That's why the movie will have crazy buzz too. And their unique will have crazy buzz too. Especially the woman around the world. They're going to be going crazy for that movie. Uh, remember how all the women went crazy for Twilight back in the day? I remember when I saw New Moon on theaters, it was packed. All the couples went to go see it, and I'm saying it was packed in theaters. Yeah, we'll think of Larry and Equal Bowl that buzz out of the wire. Looking at crazy white buzz for that. It's a romance story with Ivan and BJ. I might go touring for, for all my movies. I don't know. High chance I won't because it's why. Behind the scenes, obviously. So I highly doubt I will go to it, but I might be going touring for Zanes and maybe The Great Escape. And maybe they're unique. We'll see what happens, obviously. Obviously, right? You guys see what I'm saying here? Yeah, I what you're saying, yeah. That's why Keanu Reeves, Scarlett, and Ben and all them, and Brie Larson, and Paul Benny, and Javi Barton are lucky. They're going to express that fate with me for The Great Escape. 
And you're looking at crazy war boss, but you got they already know what I'm talking about. You see the future on the scene. You know what I'm saying? You guys already know if I'm gonna do the Matrix or the Grey Seed. You can see the future. I have the keys. You see the future on the scene. Chances are I will be doing the Grey Escape, to be honest, over over the Matrix. Because David Zazzo has to agree to delete Resurrections. If he doesn't delete it, I'm not making the, the Matrix trilogy. But because David Zazzo himself is a big fan of me, obviously, he might... You know what, Ivan? We don't mind deleting it. You know what I'm saying? Tell that Matrix story. I want to see was the one kicking ass. Here's the thing, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this. I might make another, another part here. If... David Zaslov agrees to delete resurrections, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be stuck in a dilemma with, with, with I'm gonna tell okay, VJ, I'm stuck in this dilemma. I don't know what to fucking choose. I want to do this grace game movie so bad with Canada Reason on them, but man, Warner Bros. agreed to delete resurrections. I also want to make this Matrix trilogy, and we just like, I don't know, Ivan. That's tough. I want to make, I want to tell, make that romance story with you. I want to do that grace game story, do that hidden Valper movie with you, but man, being in a Matrix trilogy is fucking cool. Yes. See me as the one he can ask is fucking cool. Yeah, if we, if we do the majors, that means Keanu Reeves will not be the star of my movie. Yeah, you don't want to do Keanu Reeves in that life. But at the same time, Keanu Reeves' career is none of your business. Yes, VJ. At the end of the day, Keanu Reeves' career is none of my business. And my career is none of his business. Because I'm now king, all the actors make my career their business, obviously. And Sarah? Just like you guys made my relationship with my wife your business when it's none of your business... These actors now make my career as a business because because I'm, I am now king. VJ is now queen. We're the main show. They're not. Obviously. If I do the Matrix, Keanu Reeves will be a bit pissed off, obviously. But he'll be like, you know what? He's a fellow fan. And look, man, even though I'm pissed off and I want to be, I want it to be the star of that Grace Cave story, I, I don't blame him for choosing the Matrix trilogy. Like, tell that story, Ivan. I want to see who was the one. Honor my legacy, Ivan. I want to see who was the one kicking ass. He might tell me that. Honor my legacy, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Be the one and kick ass. Yeah. He'll support me, obviously. He'll be supportive, obviously. But that's if David Zazzo agrees to delete Resurrections. If he doesn't, then I will be I will be doing the Great Escape, most likely. High chance, higher chance I will do the Great Escape over the Matrix. Because the Great Escape is my IP. It's my idea. It's my brand. The Matrix, I do not own the brand. Warner Bros. owns the rights to the Matrix. And they have to agree to delete Resurrections. Otherwise, I'm not touching the Matrix franchise. I'm Sarah. I am not touching the Matrix franchise. Show my camera here. 